Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, just to let y'all guys know, uh, Encrave is now on the phone for a limited time. So in case uh, the Swagbucks apps do not work for you because you don't have an iPhone or iPod, because that seems like the only device that works for Swagbuck apps, then I highly suggest you try Encrave. You just go to their uh, desktop site and you can find the Encraves there. Um, uh, other news is later on in the video today, we're going to be talking about what apps work on old devices. So yeah, enjoy. And, um, I found a little bit, uh, interesting tip. Is it possible to farm offline? We'll see in the video. Play the intro. Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about top five apps that work with very, very old and cheap devices. Um, since I know a lot of people have phones that are not over 4.4, uh, I decided to make a video that what best apps work with crappy devices because that we don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the devices because we want to make our money back. So um, first app I want to mention is checkpoints. Now checkpoints is at the number five spot because the low, um, point output or DPS dollar per second. Don't judge me. I'm a gamer. Um, checkpoints is the lowest one, but it works very well with older devices. So if you don't want to invest money in checkpoints, you can't use it with really, really old devices. Um, or in case you have a phone that doesn't work with anything else, I highly suggest checkpoints. Next one is Perk TV, the only Perk app really that works on um, pretty much any device. I know Perk Pop Quiz, Perk Word Search, um, they give you an error that says this thing can only be used with tablet and android devices which is kind of weird because i'm using android device but whatever the other ones if you don't have like 5.0 or over or didn't have it already installed it probably wouldn't work so per tv works with most old phones and it's at my number four spot for the same reason is uh the money output is a little bit higher than check uh than checkpoints, but it is still kinda low. At least for me. Um some people say they make uh close to a dollar per phone. That is not my case. So that is why it is placed at number four. Um I know a lot of people have been asking me on how to start uh farming or whatever. Uh, the phones you use will kind of dictate what apps you can use, like um, app trailers and swag, uh, and the Swagbucks apps work better on iOS, at least as far as money output. And Swagbucks really matters with the consistency. Um, Yolato, you don't need a great device, but you at least need a device that is um, 6.0, I think, or 5.0. And um, other perk apps, you will need like at least like a twenty, thirty dollar phone. I know there is some like Moto E's that are like fifteen dollars that you could play on, but no less than fifteen dollars for um, apps like perk and that. So your phone really dictates on what you can use. So yeah, I'll be making a video, but uh, about that. But Walmart kind of helped me up. Okay, but too much rambling. App trailers. Um, this app does work with old devices um i did try this on like a ten dollar phone it did have a hiccup but um i couldn't get through the like facebook screen but then i um turned airplane mode on and did it and turned airplane mode off and it worked just fine so app trailers work with old devices uh i will say it worked better on a ios device but some people don't have money for that and you don't necessarily need the ios um phone to use app trailers app trailers work fine on mid-grade android phones also 
and crappy ones. Um, it's just gonna be a little bit slower. Um, rewardable. Oh, this app is a pain in my neck. But um, I highly suggest people don't start out with this app. The reason why I say that is, well, unless you got a lot of crappy phones. If you got crappy phones, then you're probably going to have to use this app first. But if you don't have a bunch of crappy phones, uh, I suggest you uh, use Rewardable Ads. It has a decent uh, money output. It's um, very consistent. The thing is, this is going to be like your Captain save a app. Like, if you got a phone that doesn't work with any apps and you need it to make money for you, you're going to need Rewardable. So those seven spots on Rewardable are very valuable, at least to me, because I conserve my Rewardable slots just in case I get a phone that doesn't work with anything. I could put it on Rewardable. So I suggest uh, starting a reward, uh, Rewardable being the last uh app that you use because it works on basically everything the only downside of rewardable they only pay you uh it takes them like a month to pay or at least that's my experience i get paid once a month from them and the topic of the day app like now um downside is uh you can kind of only have one account with app like i have seen people uh, oh, just for case for y'all don't know what app like is app like is you download the app, you use the app and you, um, you download the app, you use the app and then you get paid for however long you use the app. Um, the stars dictate how many points, as long as you have uh, three points or higher, you should be able to get a dollar a day with this app. No problem. Maybe even more. Um, now the interesting tip about this video and, um, the reason why I hinted offline in the beginning of the video, cause I have figured out that on app, like you don't really have to be online that much. And that might help out the people that doesn't, uh, that don't have a great modem and the people that, um, probably don't have that much internet. So here's the thing with app, like. Um, you just have to, um, download the app online, start the app, and then you could cut your internet off. And the time you use the app or the time the screen of the app is showing will still count towards your app. Like, um, I would like somebody else to try this because I tested it and it worked multiple times. I tried it with airplane mode on, I turned it on, turned Wi Fi off. I even went to places that didn't have uh, internet and I was still getting credit for those points. Um, so basically, like, you know, if you go to the library, you use their internet, you turn app like on, you log into the game or the app that um, app uh, like requires. And then you just leave that screen on and then you could turn your Wi-Fi on. Uh, you could turn your Wi-Fi off, turn your airplane mode on. It doesn't matter. And then when you get back to Internet or go back to the library or Walmart or whatever you go for Internet, um, all the uh, time you build up offline will still count towards your online. So th this is kind of interesting tip. Um, so if anybody else have the same experience, uh, leave it down in the description. Tested it multiple times, worked perfectly. Um, I think this is because app like tracks uh, your <coughs> earnings by data usage. So that was very interesting. So yeah, you guys, those are the top five apps to use with old devices and some starting tips. So checkpoints, Perk TV, App Trailers, Rewardable, and App Like. App Like and Rewardable being the highest money output. Rewardable um, for me is like 40, 40 to 50 cent a phone. And for App Like, it's a dollar or a little bit more than a dollar. So, yeah, you guys, uh, that is the video. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed this format. It's a little quiet. 
but I need some editing software to add music. So that's coming in the future. I had another video for like a mini farm. I was going to see how big of a farm I could do with a hundred dollars. But since Walmart didn't want to let me buy four phones, I can't do the video. So, um, hope you guys like this video and peace out later guys. Bye.